How can two different equations have the same solution? For example, x plus 7 equals 25 has the same solution as the equation x plus 14 equals 32. In this lesson, you'll learn that properties of equality apply to equations containing unknown values by making connections to real numbers. All right, let's review. So we know 9 equals 9. That's the principle of equality. But if we subtract the same thing from both sides of that equality, then we still maintain equivalency. And this is the additive property of equality. So you could think of this like we're adding negative 6 to both sides of the equation. If we go through and complete that, we would still have 3 equals 3. So those things are still equivalent. All right, this is also the same for positive numbers. If 5 equals 5 and we add the exact same number on both sides of that equality symbol, then we get 12 equals 12. Again, because we're performing the same operation on both sides of that equality, we still maintain equivalency. Okay, so solution in math. A solution in math is a number that we put in for x that makes an equation true. So if we substituted 2 in for x here and had 2 minus 2 equals 0, we know that's true. So because 2 makes that equation true, we would say that 2 is a solution for the equation x minus 2 equals 0. So sometimes when we see unknown variables, we forget that properties of equality can apply to algebraic expressions. And it's really important to remember that those same properties of equality, both with subtraction and addition, still apply even if we have an x in that equation. Remember, x just stands for a number, but we just don't know what that number is. All right, is it possible that x plus 5 equals 10 and x plus 15 equals 20 have the same solution? Well, we know that we'll use our additive property of equality to figure this out. So what I want to think is how would I get from x plus 5 to x plus 15? Well, I know that I would have to add 10. But remember, in order to maintain equivalency, I need to make sure that I'm adding 10 to both sides. When I go through and perform that operation, I get my second equation, x plus 15 equals 20. So this tells me that my second equation is just my first equation, but with c, or 10, added to it. Because that's the case, I know that I can plug the same number in for x and it would be true for both equations. So we know pretty easily that 5 plus 5 equals 10. And if I plug 5 in for x in my second equation, that equals 20. And that reconfirms that we did that math correctly and those two equations have the same solution. Let's try another example. Could it be possible that x plus 7 equals 14 and x minus 2 equals 5 have the same solution? So what I would want to think about is how would I get from x plus 7 to x minus 2? Well, I know that I would have to subtract 9. But again, remember, because of the principle of equality, I have to perform that same operation on both sides of my equation to make sure that I'm maintaining equivalency. So when I go through, and I perform that operation, I get x minus 2 equals 5. And that's my second solution, or my second equation. And so that just tells me that my second equation is the first one, but with c subtracted from either side. And here, c was negative 9. Again, we can pretty easily see that in the first equation, x equals 7, because 7 plus 7 equals 14. And if we plug 7 into our second equation for x, we also get 5. So that confirms that we did our math correctly, and that x plus 7 equals 14, and x minus 2 equals 5 do indeed have the same solution. In this lesson, you learned how to tell if equations have the same solution by using principles of equality.